Hi, my name is Christy Wolf. I am one of the directors of special initiatives with the Wolf Automotive Group. Today, we have some exciting news to share with you. Over the winter, we've been working behind the scenes with Rocky Mountain Adaptive and Bowhead Corp to provide more opportunities for individuals of all abilities to participate in sports in the Rocky Mountains. We are here with Ashley Wolf. Ashley, will you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Ashley, and I am the president of the Wolf Automotive Group, which is a group of companies in Alberta with GM franchises. And um, I uh, own and operate with my brother, Harrison Wolf, and we have now ventured out to start a nonprofit called the Wolf Pack Warriors Foundation. Uh, it is um, a non for profit. Uh, the, the purpose of it was to bring a higher purpose to our employees outside of sales and service of automobiles, uh, creating community inside our workplace, as well as supporting the community that supports us outside of our workplace. We tried to keep it fairly broad, but uh, trying to tackle things that are really important to my family and Harrison's family. My name is Harrison Wolf. I'm uh, the GM here at Wolf Camorn, another member of the Wolf Automotive Group. I'm just happy to be here. And we have to mention that he is my husband. So this is an unusual situation for us to be Zooming and interviewing. I also mm -hmm. want to point out that Harrison was the person who designed these Wolfpack Warriors sweatshirts that we've got going right now. So nice one. Yep. A little moonlighting as a fashion designer. Nice. So Harrison, how are we connected with Rocky Moon Adaptive? Yeah, so when we first moved to uh, the Bow Valley here in Camor about a year and a half ago, brought the business model that we had with uh, Wolf Cadillac, which is very community oriented. Um, part of that is, you know, what organizations are kind of like minded organizations and what do we want to partner up with that? And one of the ones that stood out for us was uh, Rocky Mountain Adaptive. My name's Jamie. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Rocky Mountain Adaptive, a not-for-profit charitable organization based in the beautiful Canmore, Alberta. And what are the, some of the programs that Rocky Mountain Adaptive runs? Um, so for us, we want to welcome uh, everyone from the Bow Valley, Calgary, Edmonton, Alberta, and across this beautiful country of Canada that are living with disabilities to be able to come and participate in mountain sport and recreation. We basically aim to make every single mountain sport and recreational activity accessible to people of all abilities. And uh, yeah, in the winters do skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, cross country skiing. And then in the summers, everything you can think of from biking, hiking, paddle sports, whether that be canoeing, stand up or sit down paddle boarding and kayaking. Um, and yes, yeah, swimming, everything you want to do in the mountains will make it happen regardless of whatever physical or cognitive challenge you live with. So I'm really excited that the Wolf Automotive Group is working with you and we are donating a Bowhead Reach bike. Can you tell us what that's going to do for programming for Rocky Mountain Adaptive? Uh, I can't stress how absolutely incredible this is going to be. Um, first and foremost um working in the adaptive uh, or the outdoor adaptive sport and recreation industry um, we have been blessed with the evolution and technical design um, of adaptive sports equipment over the years um, that are just increasing access and making uh, our wilderness spaces and outdoor sports even more accessible to, to everyone in short those like that evolution have been great bowhead have taken that to the next level um and through the design of their equipment they've made the sport of mountain biking and it can also be a crossover for hiking as well and made so many of our outdoor spaces that for so long have been completely inaccessible um, for people living with physical challenges and through that design and the technology of this bike have made those spaces accessible. So for us, having access to that equipment um, is just going to help us fulfill our mission of being able to not only create opportunities for people to participate in mountain biking and hiking in the beautiful Canadian Rockies, but have them have the, the foundation and support to be able to continue to participate to continue to learn and get to a stage where they can excel and be yeah, enjoying the outdoor environments um, with a wind in their face and doing that on an equal platform with their family and their friends and or cohorts in this present world. 
Uh, the Wolf Automotive Group is donating this bowhead bike uh, because it first and foremost falls underneath our values. Uh, we want to support people uh, to give them access, well, all people to give them access to the outdoors. This bicycle allows individuals who may have physical uh, ailments or uh, setbacks, and it allows uh, all those people to have accessibility to the mountains. And that's super important to Harrison and I. I am Christian Bagg from Bowhead Corp, and I am the founder of Bowhead and the designer of the Bowhead Reach. Can you tell us a little bit about what's special about the Bowhead Reach? Um, well, the sort of to do that, I have to give you a little bit of the history, and that's that um, I I broke my back 25 years ago, and I loved the mountain then, and I continue to love them after I broke my back, and I struggled to find ways back into them in the way that I enjoyed being there. Every as a builder and a designer, everything I made sort of or everything that was available to me had the same problem of not being able to navigate sort of off-road rugged terrain and and the biggest part about our mountains and our trails are sort of this like off camber or you know roots and rocks and creeks and things so it was a 20 year long effort to figure out something that would allow me to be on a side slope and not tip over so among tons of other things that are special about the bowhead is the the front articulation and it's kind of like explaining an elephant to someone. You really just have to see it to understand it. But it it's what allows you to, to be on a side slope, like a 30 degree side slope and not tip over. You're, you stay level and the bike accommodates for the, the terrain. And that's, that's what makes it truly unique. So we were planning to bring the Bowhead bike up to each of the dealerships so our staff could get a look at it. And COVID has put that on hold, but we are going to work on that and get it up. So we, we really want people to see what the Bowhead bike is and what Rocky Mountain Adaptive is doing in the mountains. How is the bike that you have made, how is that supporting Rocky Mountain Adaptive's programming? There's been a really strong set of programming and uh, support system for the winter for adaptive sports for like in the mountains, which would be sit skiing. And I think Rocky Mountain Adaptive does an, an amazing job of, of, of teaching sit skiing and promoting it and sort of around the around North America. That's been a popular thing, but I think there is always this big gap for summer because some of the equipment that existed, like there, there are some you know, quote, competitors, the other piece of equipment are not just how, like how much more capable the bowhead is, but also how much more accessible the bowhead is in the seating position, in how you can have someone help you, or you can be sent off on your own. Um, like the, the learning curve is actually, which we learned from Jamie, is actually super fast. Um, he's become, it's pretty crazy. I've been doing this for you know, 15 years, but Jamie now has the most experience in the world about how to teach people how to do it. Well, and that's a perfect lead into my last question, which is what is one thing that you're doing today to take care of your mental health? Sneakily, we started a YouTube series where we go out on the bikes at least once a, once a month and we film it. And it's usually around sort of teaching you know, how what it'll do like whether it'll go bike packing or downhill mountain biking or we went ice fishing but the the sneak was that it's for work but in reality it is my way of of getting out away from this building and and going and having fun under the nice. pretense of work yeah. yeah well and i've seen a couple of those youtube that series that you're talking about and i'm looking forward to seeing more that's uh, i'll make sure to share that with our teams as well the first ever volunteer we had at Rocky Mountain Adaptive, a guy called Matthew Hamer, um, who yeah was volunteering for years and years, came on our board of directors and helped us move forward. Um, he did just recently um, pass away, but he would often like leave me with this pearl of wisdom. Um, and yeah, for me, I was always looking at the next step and like whatever successes we had. Um, I was always looking at that next platform, like that next milestone for Rocky Mountain Adaptive and what we were going to achieve. 
And Matt always used to bring me back and said, Jamie, just make sure you take the time to celebrate those small successes. Um, so yeah, what I try and do every year or every day, no matter how challenging a day it's been, is just look back and identify one success that I've done that day and take that time to appreciate that um, and then move on and take that into to the next day. I love that. I'm so glad you brought that up. Uh, usually I take care of my mental health is just getting out of the house and being active, right? Whether it's going for a run or a hike or bike ride or baseball with kids in the backyard, something that uh, requires a little bit of physical exertion usually involves the outdoors it's usually how I decompress from a day at work or digest what what's going on in my life I already checked that box I make sure that I do that first thing in the morning uh every day uh well, work work days uh work weeks I work out at 6 30 in the morning so I did that and that always makes me start my day on a positive foot uh gets my mental game going and uh aside from that I try to compliment people inside the organization or, or people inside my family, um, because if, if everybody else is doing well, I, I believe that uh, you will as well. So, Thank you to every member of the Wolf Automotive Group working together and, and making this happen. All I can speak of is like, I hope some of you get to come and see the impact. Um, I will be providing updates to highlight that impact. But yeah, I can hope that you just still take an tremendous amount of pride through your collaboration, how you're working together as a team and the impact that's going to have for so many Albertans living with disabilities. So yeah, a million times. Thank you. The Wolf Automotive Group and the Wolfpack Warriors are so excited to give a Bowhead Reach bike to Rocky Mountain Adaptive. We are proud to be able to support people of all abilities in getting outside to enjoy time with friends and family. We really want to remind you to make sure to take care of your own mental health. We would love to see you participate in the Endurability Challenge with us. Thank you for joining us today.